a total of 648 delegates who cast their vote in the 24 electoral areas in the Ewutu Senya West constituency on Saturday, June 20, to elect a parliamentary candidate for the area. The Ewutu Senya West constituency is one that is considered a swing seat in the central region since no member of parliament has been able to go for two terms. Banker Joseph Edu, who contested incumbent member of parliament and deputy minister of communication, Nay George Ander, in 2015, in the primaries, is coming up against him for the second time. Should George Ander win the primaries on Saturday, he will come up against Gisela Agbotui Tete, the National Democratic Congress parliamentary candidate and sister a former member of parliament for the area and one-time minister of foreign affairs under the Mahama administration, Hannah Sewa Tete. Incumbent MP Nay George Anda believes his victory on Saturday will send strong signal to the opposition National Democratic Congress ahead of the 2020 general elections. It is an opportunity to receive a massive endorsement for the three and a half years that uh, Ewutu Senya West have given me the opportunity to serve them. And um, the delegates are extremely excited. Uh, to a large extent, I think on the average between three and four of every of the five polling station executives are most likely to vote for us by the grace of God. And we would send out a strong signal to the NDC that Ewutu Senya West NPP is solidly united, solidly behind His Excellency the President Anadu Dankwa Kufuado and his policies. And we're going to break that record of no MP in the Wichisunya West going on successively. We'll break that record, trust me. According to him, despite the new patriotic party delivering on their campaign promises in the constituency, there have been some few misses, but it cannot outweigh the ones they have fulfilled. MPP has delivered in the Uti Senior West a few misses, and I'll be, I'll be candid with you. Uh, one of the misses, as of now, would be the uh, Bojwasi Obratri Road. But even on that road, that, that contract has been awarded, and you can see that the road is currently being done um, from the Adesso side, it's coming into, into Bojwasi. So that would be one of the misses. Okay, but if you look at the totality of the hits, I mean, um, from the Bojwasi Market Phase 1, drains, pavement constructed, Bojwasi maternity clinic um, constructed, upgraded, upgraded to a polyclinic status. There's a lot that we have done. There's a lot that we are doing. For the elections on Saturday, Director of Research and Elections for the new Patriotic Party in the Central Region, John Imbro, says adequate preparations have been made by the party to ensure free and fair elections in the remaining 12 constituencies of the region. I can assure you there will be peaceful elections. I can very much assure you. It's going to be very peaceful. People are just doing their campaigning. And nobody, I mean, even the national elections and all, there's no, we don't have that history in Central Region so far as MPP is concerned. Of course, people are going to do their political shoving here and there, trying to make sure they win. Uh, you, you witness it, that there will be a very peaceful election.